Hey everyone, this is Paul John and this is John Maybe. Hi there. And we are here to answer some of your questions from the Hippo Mailbag. So this is a 10-year-old girl is brought into the office by her mother for human papilloma virus vaccination. The mother is concerned about what she read on the internet linking causation between vaccines and medical conditions. Hmm. The vaccine that her daughter is to receive contains an adjuvant, and the mother asks you to explain the purpose of this ingredient. Which of the following best describes the mechanism of adjuvant function? That's a great question, John. Yeah, so this is one of these items, right? Where patients come in, they read stuff on the internet, and it's like, oh my God, it's got to be absolute truth. So I need to ask about this or find out about this. So an adjuvant, we'll come to the answers in just a second, but you know, an adjuvant, of course, is there for a reason. And you know, one of the problems is, um, back back in the day, there's a study, I think it was in The Lancet, actually, that, that got published. I'm, I'm not sure which journal it was, but there's this connection between you know use of adjuvants or use of these um, uh, components in vaccines and then right. ties in, or, or that was tied in with the development of autism, spectrum disorder, and all these other kind of conditions. So that, as we know, that information is still out there <clears throat> in the literature and patients read about these things. So this is actually an item that's kind of considered a teaching item in the sense that you're uh, given some information that if you didn't know about this uh, prior to reading the item, you actually learn something about this uh, uh, process. So that's really the intent of this item. But um, let's, let's take a look at uh, the answers and then we'll uh, come back and discuss it more. So choice A is, with regard to the mechanism of adjuvant function, it acts as a preservative to prevent bacterial and fungal growth within the medication vial. Now, back in the day, well, uh, the item that used to be used was stuff called uh, thimerosal. Or some, I think yeah, thimerosal, like yeah. Yeah, thimerosal. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so that clearly, you know, that's uh, the use of that is minimized uh, now. So, right. you know, that's not really the, the correct answer. Had some problems. There you go. Right. B, it binds to tyrosine kinase receptors and causes their dimerization. So you're looking at this and thinking, what the heck is a tyrosine right. kinase receptor? So these are actually receptors that are in cells that um, basically become dimerized to elicit like a, a second messenger kind of trans signal transduction me mechanism. Insulin, for example, is like the classic uh, mediator of that process. But that's not the correct answer. Got it. C, it boosts the body's immune response to give it to a given antigen dose. So now this one is the correct answer. The mechanism behind this is unclear, but um, for whatever reason, it does help like a, um, the immune system uh, and its ability to recognize uh, the, the uh, antigen. Yeah, and to, to help uh, stimulate more of a, a proper response. Right, right. Cool. D, it initiates caspase pathways involved in cellular apoptosis. Caspase? Yeah. Apoptosis. <laughs> oh right. Goodness. So these are actually, the caspase path pathway is a real thing, right? They're actually kind of induced by the, they're turned on as part of the mitochondrial system, actually, that ends up destroying the, the cell. So it's part of that cell apoptosis or cell self-death type of a pathway. Got it, but not That's the correct the, answer. Right, e, that. it turns on genes that are involved in autism spectrum disorder. Uh, mm. Now, this was one of these things that people used to think about, but yeah. you know, the whole concept of genetic ideology behind autism is, isn't that solid or isn't that well connected in the first place. But clearly, this is not a correct answer. Uh, you might be led to believe that it would be because of that connection, but it's, it's not the correct answer. Right. Very tempting choice given what's going on in social media and just in general in uh, lay population. But again, that is not the correct answer. So the correct answer is? Correct answer is C. It boosts the body's immune response to a given antigen dose. So this type of question, also just to recap on, on the uh, the type of questions you're going to see on the uh, pants or panry uh, exam. This is uh, one of those questions that's described as an, uh, applying scientific concepts. So this is really basic science. We don't see a lot of these items on the exam, but you know oh, they got to be asked, right? So this is maybe the kind of format you may see on an item like this. Great to know. And that wraps it up for this segment. We'll see you next time when we answer more of your questions from the Hippo Mailbag. Thank <laughs> you.